In this interesting question, with the given data, we have to find value of x, and we'll learn a trick on how to solve these questions in less than 20 seconds. Let's check the solution. We'll solve the same question by two ways. Our first approach will be formal approach, and the second approach will be logical approach, where we'll solve same question in 20 seconds. Let's check the first solution. So here the triangle ACB is isosceles triangle. So if this angle is alpha, then this angle will also be alpha degrees. Let's join this EB. Now if you look, chord BC is subtending an angle of alpha degree on the circumference. So it will subtend alpha on the remaining part of circumference also. And thus here this angle E will also be alpha degrees. Let's assume this angle C here is beta degrees. Now if you look at the triangle BCD, it has got alpha and beta as two angles. Same way for the triangle EBECB, -E it has got same alpha and beta as two angles. Thus by angle-angle similarity, the two triangles are similar. And thus the ratio of corresponding sides will be equal. So here we can say that BC upon CD will be equal to EC upon CB. Putting the values here, we have got BC as 8 and CD is 5 and EC, EC is your X plus 5 and CB is again 8. Cross multiplying it, we get 8 square is 5 times of X plus 5. Solving it, we'll get value of X as 7.8 centimeter and that's our answer. Now let's look at the second approach. In the logical approach, we'll use the fact that there are multiple figures which we can draw which will confirm to this data that is the side length AC and CB is 8 and 8 centimeter, and this CD is 5. So basically the circle size will increase or decrease but this triangle dimensions we can maintain. So similarly if we look at this figure, this is maintaining all the conditions of the original question that is AC and CB is 8 and 8 centimeter. Only thing is we have taken the size of circle such that CD instead of passing like this, the CD is passing perpendicular and this CD distance is 5 centimeter. See here there is no information given related to this angle. So this is a variable as long as this 8, 8 and 5 is maintained. So here now it's easier for us to solve as AD and DB we can find with the help of Pythagoras theorem. So DB is square root of 39 and AD is also square root of 39. Now using the intersecting chord theorem or power of point theorem, we get that your CD times DE is AD times DB. Putting the values here, CD is 5, DE is X and AD and DB are square root 39. Solving it will get value of x as 7.8 cm and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.